You know, that is such a great question, such an important question for us, because if the gospel is just something out there that kind of guarantees my afterlife, but doesn't help me in the present when I'm going through the toughest things, then it's of no use to us. But the gospel actually, friends, gives us great help in times of trouble. There's all kinds of places that we could go in the scriptures, but I think the place that that speaks to the help that the gospel gives in in a way that no other text of the Bible does is Romans chapter 8. And so, very familiar verse, Romans 8, 28, tells us this. It says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to His purpose. Now the question is, how do we have any assurance that for those who love God, all things work together for good? I mean, that's a great promise, but how can we possibly be be assured of that? How can we know that whether it's pandemics or natural disasters, whether it's death or sickness or financial disaster, how can we know that all things that come into our life are going to work in us something good? Well, the assurance comes down the page a little bit in verse 32, which says this, He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Church, the assurance, the the place of hope for us that no matter what we go through, God is working for our good. He's bringing good to pass in our lives. The assurance of that is the cross of Christ, the very heart of the gospel. When you are in doubt, when you're wondering how in the world can God bring good into my life through this situation, look to the cross. Look to the place where God has demonstrated beyond a shadow of a doubt His love and provision and care and goodness in your life and know that everything else in your life is going to work together for good through the hands of a sovereign, good, redeeming God. The gospel helps us because it gives us a visible, tangible reminder that God is for us and not against us. And no matter what we go through in life, as Paul says, whether it's tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword, no, in all things, We are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. There's nothing in all of creation that can separate us from His love given to us through the gospel.